Hello and welcome back to our reptile and invertebrate tips and tricks series. My name is James and today we will be talking about the curly head tarantula. So these are really great first pets because this species is very docile and with a little bit of patience between the pet and the pet owner, you can frequently handle the tarantula. So let's talk a little bit about what is involved with taking care of these. This is Angel. Angel is a female curly haired tarantula and she is an adult. She's about three years old. The females can live anywhere from 10 to 25 years old and they are larger than the males for this species. And the males only live for about four to five years and tend to be smaller. These, this species is mainly terrestrial and so they don't climb, so it's important for the habitat to be long and wide, not necessarily tall. As you can see here, this habitat is only about six inches tall, but very wide. And it's also important for this species to have plenty of substrate to dig and burrow. Uh, the juveniles themselves are very, very shy, so they love to burrow and stay hidden. And as they get older, the adult tarantulas actually become a little more adventurous, a little more comfortable, and you will see them more often. So as you can see here, we have about three inches of uh, substrate. You can use either soil, dirt, or uh, coconut fiber is a good one. And um, some good things to use for hiding spots is uh, bark or um, cork rounds as well. This is a very easy species to take care of because there's no special lighting requirements and there's also no special heating requirements as long as your house is teetering on the warmer side. Um, you really shouldn't be having your enclosure getting um, colder than about 70-75 degrees. Uh, when they're younger, the juveniles should be feeding more often than the adults. The younger of the species should be eating um, about three to four times a week every other day um, and you can be feeding them crickets, worms, beetles, just make sure uh, you do some good research before you introduce something new to them and the adults can eat a little less frequently. Um, you could do a couple times a week to even once a week as well. Some more upkeeping involves misting daily, making sure that the humidity stays high in the enclosure. Uh, that can also be helped with having a small dish of water, uh, both to quench the thirst of the tarantula, but also to increase the humidity. Like most tarantulas, the curly-haired tarantula does also make webbing, and um, you can mist the webbing in order for the tarantula to have another source of water. Um, you don't want to clean up the webbing. That can stay in the enclosure. It's also a good way for the tarantula to catch food uh, if you feed live things like those crickets and worms. Every once in a while, the curly-haired tarantula will molt, and you'll see what looks like a second tarantula in your habitat. That is perfectly normal. Go ahead and remove the molt. That is just a way for you to know that your tarantula is happy and healthy and is getting bigger. The juveniles do molt more often than the adults. You'll probably see molt from the juvenile about once a month, and the adults, you should probably see them molting about once every six months. All right, so that's pretty much everything you need to know about how to take care of a curly-haired tarantula. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you, Angel, for being our star of today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and also stay tuned for our next video so we can show you some more tips and tricks on reptiles and invertebrates. All right, thank you.